We do not have enough property currently zoned with enough density to ensure adequate capacity to meet the RENA allocation. As a result, we are required to develop a plan that identifies sites and proposes a method for rezoning property suitable to provide adequate capacity to meet RENA. There is more than one way to rezone for adequate capacity. In the city of Agora Hills, we are proposing the Affordable Housing Overlay, or AHO, and changing the base zoning where needed to allow for more housing to be approved and constructed. Staff is recommending the AHO apply to all sites listed on the Housing Sites Inventory. The AHO is an option available to all of the property owners with property listed in the Housing Sites Inventory. If a property owner chooses to use the AHO, their project could be approved through an over-the-counter process known as ministerial rather than review and approval by the Planning Commission or the City Council, which is a discretionary process. Utilizing the AHO also allows for increased density at a range of 20 to 25 dwelling units per acre, all in exchange for constructing 20% of the units as very low or low income. To ensure adequate capacity for the development of units to meet our arena allocation, staff is recommending rezoning the properties within the Agora Village Specific Plan Area, or AVSP, that are currently zoned for residential uses to residential medium density. The base zoning would allow property to develop at a density of 6 dwelling units to 15 dwelling units per acre. For properties within the AVSP that are currently designated for mixed use or proposed to be rezoned to mixed use, staff is recommending a default density of 20 dwelling units per acre. For properties outside of the AVSP on the site's inventory, staff is recommending the residential only sites be rezoned to residential medium density with a density of 6 to 15 dwelling units per acre. The shopping centers that, are, that currently have residential density will retain the current number of units they are entitled to today, with no change. As part of the rezoning program, we will incorporate objective standards. Objective standards have come to mean standards that involve no personal or subjective judgment by a public official and are uniformly verifiable by reference to an external and uniform benchmark or criterion available and knowable by both the development applicant and the public official prior to submittal. This is based on language found in state law. The Housing Accountability Act has provisions that make objective standards important. In general, this act's purpose is to significantly increase the approval and construction of new housing for all economic segments of California's communities by curbing the capability of the local government to deny, reduce the density of, or render housing projects infeasible. All housing development projects are subject to the Housing Accountability Act as well be they residential only projects, mixed use projects with at least two thirds of the square footage devoted to residential, transitional housing or supportive housing. The Housing Accountability Act applies to both affordable and market rate units. Per the Housing Accountability Act or HAA, if a housing development project complies with objective general plan, zoning, and subdivision review standards it is very difficult for the City of Agora Hills to deny the project or lower the project's density. The Housing Crisis Act declared a statewide housing emergency until January 1st of 2025 and encourages affordable housing development by expediting housing approvals, suspending local authority to impose certain restrictions on housing development, such as moratoriums or freezing housing projects, the inability to reduce intensity in a land use or designation. If a project had density potential as of January 1st, 2018, we are no longer allowed to reduce that density potential. 
to anything lower for the housing development. Our ability to limit the number of approvals or construction permits for housing, cap the number of housing units we have, limit the population, or adopt subjective standards are also prohibited. If it seems like local discretion is being curtailed, that's because it is.